in these modern day organization let's say we can talk about the government of india also so government of india is full of the mature individuals okay mature individual meaning that hello everyone welcome to pluto sis myself vivek raj so in the continuation of our pyq series for public administration today i have some questions to talk about so we'll have the meaningful discussion so let's have a look into this question so you can see <coughs> that the question is about definitely the chris argyris that is the organizational incompetence has two separate and distinct phases okay the organizational incompetence has two separate and distinct phases so basically we are very much aware of that chris argyris gave the ideas with respect to the organizational incompetence and in that how how he explained the idea so basically he explained the idea with that with the help of maturity immaturity paradigm or we can say the adult infant paradigm so here if we if i can write so it is the maturity and immaturity maturity and immaturity paradigm okay so we'll see how we one can tackle this question and then we have the <coughs> adult infant paradigm right so basically what you are supposed to do in this particular question is since the question is saying organizational incompetence has two separate and distinct phases so <clears throat> chris argyris has highlighted that the kind of employees that we, every organization is having so there exist two types of employees there will be the mature kind of individuals who will be showing the adult characteristics meaning that they will be having the long term perspective they will be looking for the recognition in the long run and they will be innovation based they will be you know uh, taking risk they will be uh, more motivated by the content of the job it will not be that the outside or the surrounding is attracting them and if we are come talking about the immature individuals so they they will be having the short term perspective they will not be having the long term vision and they will be more guided by the you know outer uh, side of the job we can say they will not be guided by the content like what work they are doing usse unko zyada farak nahi padega but they will be more concern about the outside environment theek hai and uh, uh, they will not be inclined towards the job but they will be you know more superficial uh, in nature so all these characteristics will be there okay so since the question is talking about the organizational incompetence so here you can see that two distinct phases are there first one is the social construct okay and the objective reality so what we find in the social construct what is we this social construct that we are talking about so here we are saying that the modern day organization that we see they are the formal kind of organizations okay the modern day organizations are very formal kind of organization so <clears throat> in these modern day organization let's say we can talk about the government of india also so government of india is full of the mature individuals okay mature individual meaning that they they are looking for something something significant you know contribution in the work okay and they know what what is their value and they know what they should be getting in return uh, you know the kind of contribution they are making okay so definitely when uh, if you are sim understanding uh, in more uh, simple language then the mature individuals are one who are of high skilled people so in case of government of india we are having the high skilled people who are very much educated they have cracked the competitive exams so these kind of people are difficult to manage that is what the chris argyris has mentioned so social construct may what we are adding that since the modern organizations are you know manned by the matured individuals they are you know uh, they are having significant population of the matured individuals so definitely the kind of social construct that we are having okay so that will be creating a problem how for example 
if any formal organization will be there then that formal organization will be expecting that people will be coming on time okay but since you are having all the knowledge you are having all the confidence in you then it becomes difficult to manage these kind of individuals right so that's why we are uh, adding the thing that is social construct okay so this is one kind of incompetence so yahan pe kya ho raha hai there is incongruency incongruency between the need of formal organization ki aap subah 10 baje aao sham ko 7 baje jao so the mature individual those who will be having understanding about the things those who will be having you know understanding about their capabilities they will be having confidence so those kind of people will not be following the rules and regulations rigidly okay so and the aspirations of mature individual mature individual ko kya chahiye like they they will be looking for leaves they will be looking for recognition in the organization if they all those things will not be available they will not be able to contribute in the organization the way they should be contributing so in that context we are first in competence we are uh, talking about that is social construct the need of mature individuals and the expectation of the organization i hope the idea is very clear okay the other <coughs> uh, out of the two incompetence that we have other is objective reality so here we are referring to the mature individuals immature individuals okay so under the immature individuals what we are having <coughs> the objective reality is coming out of it is stems from an observed pattern of pattern over a period of time and pattern of unwillingness to learn from environment and the past mistakes okay and immature individual work for short period of time they don't have long term perspective so immature individuals are one who are not having the long term vision who are not having the confidence they are not independent but they are dependent someone will be giving instruction then only they will be able to contribute okay so one side so since since the question now we will be going back to the question so question is saying organizational incompetence has two faces any organization is not able to perform not able to become competent because of two reason the one we had it social construct then the objective reality social construct is because of what the objective of the formal organization and the need of the mature individuals and then the next that what we are talking about the objective reality that is the immature individuals are there they are not learning from the mistakes they are not improving upon the things okay so immature individuals are not capable enough to contribute to the organizational goals so all these issues on the like from the side of mature individuals also from the side of immature individuals also there are issues okay that's why this question has been asked organizational incompetence has two separate and distinct faces according to the chris argaris so you are supposed to explain the mature individuals immature individuals and then going forward you can talk about this also okay that is how to deal with how to deal with these people when you are having the immature individuals when you are having mature individuals in your organization because every type of people will be there in your organization okay so you can follow this adult infant paradigm here what why why the name name is so because we have explain we can explain this paradigm in a way that uh, when the child will be very small the when the kid will be very small then you will be giving all the instruction to the children like this is what you are supposed to do this is what you are not supposed to do okay so the very uh, we can say the tight control will be there and it should be there when the ch uh, children is there they are very small and they are not aware of the things what is right and wrong so at that point of time parents used to exercise the tight control okay so adult infant right when the children is growing then we understood that uh, children is now now the child is understanding what is right what is wrong so we will be giving little bit relaxation now he or she can go for uh, you know play in the ground okay so only that much uh, restrictions we have removed now okay when the children is growing further the child will be growing further then we will may be allowing the child to go out of the society okay to uh, to go to some ground which is uh, away from your home right so these kind of things can be provided when we can provide 
when the children is growing when we are having confidence that now the child can take care of his uh, himself or herself right so you will be you will be talking about adult infant paradigm in the very last part of the answer so that you know you will be providing the solution in the form of adult infant paradigm right so th i hope this is making good sense to deal with this question now we'll be moving towards the next so this is also very insightful question and uh, the next question that we are supposed to talk so this question says while the entrepreneur makes the strategic decision the manager makes the tactical decision tactical or tactical ones okay so in the very practical life in very you know our day to day life we are very much aware of this statement so this statement is not something about which we uh, are not aware of about which we are not having any understanding it is not like that only it is about uh, understanding right uh, only it is about giving the dimensions okay so entrepreneur makes the strategic decision we understand that who is entrepreneur who is trying to run the a particular you know entrepreneur uh, uh, entrepreneurship uh, that he is he is performing right so what what people do is for example <coughs> you are trying to run a school okay you are trying to run a school so you have uh, arrange all the infrastructure then you have constructed some buildings and some blocks in for your schools then you will be hiring some staff there will be also you know innovation and the strategies will be involved like uh, entrepreneur makes a strategic decision so you can make the strategic decision all together that all the people who we will be hiring should be having phd degree right or should be having x y z kind of qualification right so you are taking the strategic decision with the very first time you are deciding what will be taking place and uh, how exactly these decisions will be implemented definitely these decisions will be implemented with the help of middle level employees the supervisors the managers to so managers kaise decisions lenge managers will be just implementing your ideas they will not be that innovative the in comparison to the entrepreneur definitely they can be innovative little bit like how to implement that uh, decision that the entrepreneur has taken so only little bit kind of innovation they will be showing but definitely it will be far less than in comparison to the entrepreneur okay so entrepreneur mein hum kya bol rahe hain entrepreneur will be having the leadership skills they will be showing the leadership and they will be having the risk taking behavior they will be taking some risk and they will be you know definitely uh, opening other branches and going for other innovation kind of programs but definitely they will be taking risk but if we are comparing with that of manager तो उनका सिक्योर डिसीजन होगा बिकॉज दे कैन नॉट टेक रिस्क इफ दे विल बी टेकिंग रिस्क देयर पोजीशन मे नॉट बी सिक्योर है ना सो दे विल बी ऑलवेज अफ्रेड ऑफ देयर पोजीशन बट ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर विल बी टेकिंग वेरी रिस्क फ्री डिसीजन ठीक है रिस्क टेकिंग बिहेवियर होगा उनका दे विल बी वेरी इनोवेटिव इन देयर अप्रोच ठीक है एंड दे विल बी ऑलवेज चेंज ओरिएंटेड बिकॉज इफ इन ऑर्डर टू ग्रो अ पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और दिनप्रेन्योरशिप change is important as per the people need because society is always changing so people aspirations are also changing so the good entrepreneur will be one who will be having all the you know emerging trends of society aapko pata hona chahiye what kind of education people are looking for nowadays agar if you are blindly like you are focusing and you you are just providing one side of the story or you are providing whatever you feel is good is not a good idea so entrepreneur will be change oriented एंड वो एक ऐसे डिसीजन लेंगे जिनका सोसाइटी में एक लार्जर इंपैक्ट होगा देर विल बी ग्रेटर इंपैक्ट ऑफ देयर डिसीजन सो ऑन्टरप्रन्योर्स विल बी टेकिंग दोज काइंड ऑफ डिसीजन सो आपको ये एक्सप्लेन करना है वाइल द ऑन्टरप्रन्योर्स मेक ए स्ट्रेटेजिक डिसीजन तो आप इस चीज को एक्सप्लेन करेंगे दैट दे आर हैविंग द लीडरशिप क्वालिटी रिस्क टेकिंग बिहेवियर इनोवेशन काइंड ऑफ अप्रोच चेंज ओरिएंटेड ग्रेटर इंपैक्ट ठीक है इसके सहारे आप एक्सप्लेन करेंगे देन यू विल टॉक अबाउट द मैनेजर्स सो मैनेजर्स का क्या है इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ पॉलिसीज 
उनको कोई स्ट्रेटेजिक डिसीजन नहीं लेना है दे आर नॉट सपोज टू टेक एन इनोवेटिव काइंड ऑफ डिसीजन बट दे आर सपोज टू जस्ट इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द पॉलिसी ठीक है देन उनका लेसर इंपैक्ट होगा दे विल बी जस्ट इंप्लीमेंटिंग तो उनका सोसाइटी पे इंपैक्ट तो नहीं होगा इट विल नॉट बी हैविंग दैट इंपैक्ट देन वी हैव द सिक्योर काइंड ऑफ डिसीजन वो सिक्योर डिसीजन लेंगे एज आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कंसर्न अबाउट देअर पोजिशन रिलेटेड टू दिस ठीक है एंड फोकस ऑन गेटिंग थिंग्स डन देन वी हैव द यू नो वेर एंड बेनिस ऑल्सो सो वेर एंड बेनिस हाज मेड द सेम काइंड ऑफ स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द लाइक मैनेजर्स डू द ऑन्टरप्रन्योर्स डू द राइट थिंग्स एंड मैनेजर्स डू दैम राइटली ठीक है ऑन्टरप्रन्योर्स डू द राइट थिंग्स और द लीडर्स डू द राइट थिंग एंड मैनेजर्स डू दैम राइटली दिस स्टेटमेंट हैज बीन गिवेन बाई द वेर एंड बेनिस सो डेफिनेटली हम आप बस इसको बोल सकते हैं वी कैन ऑल्सो रिलेट द यू नो साइमन हार्बर्ट साइमन इज नोन फॉर द डिसीजन मेकिंग राइट He is very much known for the decision making. So, what kind of decision making he has provided for the program decision, the program and the non-program decision, non-program decision, right? So, you can also relate that uh, entrepreneurs will be taking what kind of decision? They will be taking non-program kind of decision. Why? What is non-program decision? Non-program decision are very innovative kind of decision. the kind of decisions which have not been programmed which have not been taken earlier but you are thinking about something very new okay so that is non program decision and managers will be taking what kind of decision definitely the program kind of decision or we can say routine kind of work they will be performing or we ek procedure ko hi follow kar rahe honge so that is the program decision so i mean to say definitely the question is saying to you like entrepreneurs makes a strategic decision मैनेजर्स टेक द टेक्टिकल डिसीजन तो आपको यही एक्सप्लेन करना है डेफिनेटली बट इन ऑर्डर टू इनरिच योर आंसर यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द वेर एंड बेनिस यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द साइमन सो दिस वे डेफिनेटली इट विल बी इनरिचिंग योर आंसर एंड योर आंसर विल बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर पीपल राइट सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन वी विल बी मीटिंग इन द नेक्स्ट इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्कस अदर पी वाई क्यूज थैंक यू